Welcome back YouTube family. Hope you're doing well. Today we have a kind of special video. I will be answering a user submitted question. So shout out to Nicolas Crespo. I hope I'm pronouncing that right man. I'm super sorry if not. But he had a great question in which he asked, I might, I might show a little image right here, but he asked how do I add animations to my segues? So as we know this is super important because animations really help take our apps to the next level. They show a layer of polish and a layer of design that really helps it stand apart from other apps. So I'm going to show you today two super easy segue animations that I actually use quite often. And these are the circle animation and the blur animation. I actually have it up right here. And so basically the circle segue, when I press it, you'll see that nice little animation and then I can press back. <laughs> And then for the blur segue, when we press it, a nice little blur will pop up and then we can show different objects on top of the original screen. So both super useful and pretty easy to implement. So let's get started. So I, I have right here a new Xcode project screen. I'm going to create a new single view application. Product name, let's call our project awesome segues. We can click next and click create. It should create it in your desktop or wherever. Create. Cool. So we will start with the circle animation. So for the circle animation, we're actually going to navigate to Chrome or whatever other browser you use. And we're going to search for this. It is called OH Circle Segway. And it is a repo in GitHub. So I will link this down below so you guys can easily get to it, but a quick Google search should do the trick as well. So we come here. We are going to clone or download. Click this right here and then click download zip. I'm not going to do it because I already did it, but you guys get the point. Boom. You should see this pop up right here. I'm going to open that and we're going to navigate inside the project. Right, you should see something similar to this. We're going to click OH Circle Segue, and then you, you should see one file, OH Circle Segue.swift. We are going to drag this into our Xcode project. So, click drag, make sure it's inside the project directory, right inside this yellow folder right here, and just let go. We're going to copy items if needed and click finish. So now we're going to do Command-B, just see if this will build. And every, if everything's good, we should be good to go. Awesome. So let's just back to iPhone 7. And so basically, now that we have implemented this, the circle segue, this is how you use it. Everything's going to be done in the main storyboard. So you go here. Let's make this more obvious. So I'm going to add a background color, just so that we know that this is the very initial screen. Nice. I don't even know what the color, maraschino, what? <laughs> All right, um, I'm going to drag in a button. And basically, this is going to be the action that transitions us to the next view controller. And so obviously, we need one more view controller. Drag it on the main storyboard. And now, just like we would usually connect a button to a segue, we're going to control drag from the button to the view controller that we want to connect it to. Let go. You should see the default options that you guys are used to, like show, model. But something that should be new is this little circle thing. Just select that. And we should have our first segue. So to test it out, first of all, let's make this a different color just so we can see a nice little contrast. So that's red. Let's go with a nice little green fern and run this real quick. We're going to click button. And you guys see that really cool, nice little animation. Super simple, right? Um, next up, we're going to do the blur. So blur I actually use even more often than circle because it's super useful in just displaying information that is almost extra. So you can just 
splay the blur from the parent control and then dismiss it whenever whenever the user is done interacting with it. So we're going to drag on a new view controller here. And so basically this will act as a screen on top of the blur, right? So I'm going to just drag in a label just so that we know. I'm going to say, do you even blur? Cool. I'm going to change the color to white just so it's easier to see. And then, again, just for clarification, I'm going to say this is circle segue. And then drag on one more button, just like that. And this will be blur. So basically that's all good. Now we just need to integrate the blur effect. So to do that, we're going to be using CocoaPods, good old trusty CocoaPods. And I hope by now that you guys are pretty familiar with it. If you guys are new, don't worry. I'm going to walk you through the steps right now. And um, we'll get you quickly up to speed. So we're going to click the main project right here, the, this blue file. Right click, new file. We're going to scroll all the way down to an empty file. Click next. Save as, we're going to type in pod file. Super important that you type it exactly like this. We click create. Cool, we should see a nice little pod file pop up. In here, we're going to say target. The name of our project, which here we said awesome, segues. Do. We're going to use frameworks. So you can type use underscore frameworks, exclamation mark. And then we're going to add one pod today, and that's going to be called AF Blur Segway. Don't forget to end, and then Command S to save. We're going to open up Terminal. We're going to navigate into our project directory. And again, please let me know if you guys want some basic terminal. I, I can do a whole tutorial series on it. Cause Terminal is a developer's best friend for sure. All right, so desktop, we're going to navigate into our product directory, which is called Awesome Segways. LS-L, I need to quickly check that pod file is right here. Always a good sign. If it's not there, um, rewind the video and try to follow the steps again. But we're good here, so we're just going to type in pod install and let, let it do its thing. Well, you'll see it says installing AF Blur segue, and then please close any current Xcode sessions and use XC workspace instead. So we're going to exit out of this. Cool. And then we're going to go awesome segues.xc workspace. Pop that right up. You'll see it's almost exactly like our old project, but now we have this nice little pods. We're going to go back in and now we should be good to go. Do a quick command B just to make sure. Build succeeded so we're good and then guys just just like the circle segue super easy we're going to dra control drag from the bottom just like we normally would and now we should see a new option pop up called blur so we're going to select that and let's test this out. So I'm going to click blur. You see that nice little black shadow that comes up. And then do you even blur effect. So there you have it, guys. Those are two super easy but awesome segue transitions that you can use in any kind of application. And I really hope you do because these, these, these two animations have really brought me a lot of value. And I really hope they, they do the same to you. So I will see you in the next video. If you haven't, please subscribe, guys. Like It means a lot. And I will catch you later.